welcome back to my channel this is carol Kennedy, and i'm here to do a quick review so to speak on these three palettes that i purchased from ebay and to hear my take on these stick around Thank you for sticking around, and again, this is Carol Creepy, and as I stated, I am here to just do a quick review of some items that I purchased off of eBay, and this is not a sponsored review or anything, these are items that I bought with my own funds. So, to start it off, we're going to go ahead and start off with this palette that I purchased, and... I don't know if you can see it, and it is the Modern Renaissance palette, Anastasia. Now, these items that I did purchase are not the actual items as they state. They are knockoff items. They say it's not good to buy these things, but a my dollar, and if that's why I feel to spend the time, um, I feel to spend the time. So, spend it. But as I stated, this is the first palette we're going to go ahead and take a look at, and right off the bat, this is the worst purchase I made. The worst. When I tell you the worst, it, it, it can't get, it can't be expressed no more. Now, with the palette, it looks just like the... Anastasia palette. It is the pink. I don't know if you can be able to see it. It's the pink with the gold on the outside. And then you have the description on the back. And everything. Uh, basically, it looks like the original palette. Where it all went downhill is when I opened the palette. First thing that happened, as you can see, Broken mirror. Yeah, we was hot. Because when I paid for this palette, I was pissed. Now, I paid $10 for this palette. And I really can't even too much use the palette. Reasons being is, one, it doesn't matter about the mirror because I have plenty of mirrors that I could use in my house. I'm not a vampire, so... It don't matter. I can use it. The thing that gets me is the colors. The colors in this palette sucks. When I tell you these palette colors suck, they suck. And I'm bending it back so you can see. I don't even know how I'm going to get you to see what they look like. But, honey, these suck are so chalky, you can write on a chalkboard. It won't even make a difference. They got one on here called love letter that is the only one that you can actually use along with venetian red warm taupe reglar and honey they got one called burnt orange on here it only it ain't nowhere near no damn orange nowhere near nowhere near no orange on this but you get what you pay for. But I'm thinking for $10, I should be able to at least use more than the itty bitty that was available to use. So, to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to do a quick swatch. Testing something earlier. So, bear with me here. And I mean, you can get lucky with some of the palettes. I did with two of them. I got real lucky. But this was just so disappointing. And I was so looking forward to at least coming close on this palette. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better when I tilt it. And it is look orange. And it's supposed to be burnt orange. None of that. They, what you see, how you see it here is exactly how it is here. This is live in effect. This ain't no joke. So, to give you an idea of some swatches, 
the Reglar. I don't know if you if you're gonna be able to see anything. But that is the Reglar. You see how chalky that is? Then we got the warm tote. The next one is the Venetian Red. The Venetian Red isn't too bad, but again, it's not too much you can do with it. That is your Venetian Red. The next one is Red Ochre. Now, I've heard so much about this color. Get it. Oh, hey. <laughs> Shitting me. Red ochre. Whatever. That it doesn't even look pink. Nah. We're going to do a knockoff palette. Get the colors close to the original. Close. This ain't nowhere near. What is the next one I touch? Primavera. You see a difference? I see no difference. This and this look like white. This you can't even see. And that was what? Warm taupe? Um, this is the burnt orange. <laughs> now, for the burnt orange, that's burnt orange. Nah. The rest of them, they come off as white. The next one that you can barely see but is visible somewhat is Cypress Umber. Yeah, Cypress Umber. And it's kind of like a dark brown. Let's see if I can put it here. Nah, you know, look. You see that? This right here. That's it right there. And I've seen women of color use the same palette. So I know that this palette can be used on us. And to get this and you can't do anything with it, that was so disappointing. The next one that was usable is, what is it? It's Love Letter. That was the next one. That's love letter. The other one is antique bronze. Okay. These are the only colors that I can use out of this palette. The rest of them, from here over. They all name different, but they're all white. They're all white. Who would do that? There's no shimmer, no nothing. They're all white. For me to go ahead and had to send this back to get my money back, it would have cost me more for the so-called knockoff palette. I just didn't get it. I'm not doing it. So I gave it an honest review. Sucked. <laughs> so, you go on eBay to buy the Anastasia palette. Be careful because, honey, you're gonna get chopped. <laughs> That's basically what you're gonna get. You're gonna get chopped. So, now, the next one, which I was so happy with and I said wow I struck gold with this and I, I, I still say that I struck was the Kylie Shadow Kylie Shadow's palette ordinarily and yes you're, you're seeing it right you've never seen the palette this is how small this palette is the 
like this chick was selling for what was it, forty something dollars, fifty something dollars, including the shipping? Yes. This. No. I bought this on eBay, the knockoff, for six ninety nine. No, 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 not six ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, six ninety nine, free shipping. I wouldn't have complained if it came out like the chalk because it's six ninety nine. If you spend eleven dollars for chalk, mm -mm. this was not a bad deal. Now, I did my research with this, and with my research, I learned a few things. That you can tell. Now, the packaging looked exactly like the original. Exactly. No different. The bronze outer shell, everything on the box, label here, the initials on the back. Open it. You get your card. Yes, you do. Get your card. You do get it. And poor little girls, I'm quite sure they thought when they got this. Kylie wrote me. No, babe. Kylie ain't right. And this is how thin it is. Anyway. This is how the inside looks. And like I said, I was not disappointed with this power. Let me do a quick swatch because my thing is acting up here. So, there's no name, well, there's names on them, but let me just do the swatches. Starting with the bottom row here, this dark color. Next one is a dark, deep brown. The next one is kind of like, for me, it's a flesh tone. This one is pretty hard to see because it matches me so well. <laughs> but it's right here. The next one is kind of a, a shimmer. Chubby wrist. <laughs> okay. Next one is this orange. I mean, it's a bright orange. It's right underneath my chubby wrist. See that there? The next one is another one that's kind of another flesh tone. This is good for like when you do your lid and you want to, you know, set the concealer. You can use that. That's here. Next one. I don't know what that one is. But this one is a nice, real nice silky feeling. I think that's for the under the brow bones. That's how this one is. And then you have this pinky white kind of color. These are the swatches from the Kai 
Shadow Power. Okay. Now to see if I can read the colors <laughs> in the back. Okay. So the bottom row is Rim Knight. Oh Lord. I can't read it, y'all. <laughs> because it's so shiny. I doubt if y'all could see it either. This is the kind of paper they have back here. Yeah, so, like I said, the back of it is really shiny, so y'all would have to get them yourselves or go on to the site. The colors are exactly the same, but this this was not a bad deal. This was a $6.99 purchase on eBay, and that was free shipping. So, I was not upset with this. This was not a bad purchase. And like I said, this is the swatches. And for a palette that is actually based off of Kylie's skin tone, I was not disappointed. So, at all. The next one, and my final purchase, which I am so proud of, is the Anastasia Moonchild palette. This has to be my most favorite purchase. And this was an eight, eight dollar purchase. And I'm telling you, I'm so happy with this purchase. It's not even funny. Look at those colors. Look at those colors. Everything, I mean, to me, Checked out, look the same. This is your front. Has your moon child in its holographic. Your engraved Anastasia. And then your Ida, your ingredients and so forth in the back. Does not contain. And I don't think it has talc in it. I didn't see where it had talc in it. So, I wasn't too bad. But, yeah. Ingredients on the back. Comes in a very nice sleeve that slides. So, again, like I stated, these are knockoffs of the original product. So, now, as for swatches for this, very quickly, I will try and do this. The colors you have in here is Pink Heart, Lucky Clover, Blue Moon, Purple, Purple Horseshoe, Star, and Blue Ice. Those are your colors. These are your swatches. That is your swatch. Plus, I am wearing it for my little glow. And what I am wearing is the purple horseshoe to go with this look. So as you can see, you do get the glow from this prop. So, this was not a bad purchase. Again, as I stated, this I bought this for eight bucks. These items took a really long time to get for me. I would say two to three weeks. Tops. Majority of it, I stayed on top of the sellers as to tracking numbers because they didn't really send me tracking numbers with these items. So I had to stay on top of them for that. But I mean, look at the presentation of this. Can you believe it? Oh my God. And it has the 
the glow. It's not like it doesn't. It doesn't give it to you. It gives it to you. 150 percent, boo boo. Look. The play with even. The play with them. So, as far as my purchases goes and my eBay finds, those to date were my best finds. Um, I did have one more item, but I did do a review on that already, and it was for a brush cleaner that you wear on your sleeve. Um, I paid two bucks for that. Uh, three dollars for it and that was excellent and this is the item right here like I said I'm against time here on my battery this is what it looks like it is one size fits all friendly put it on like so you can stick your extra brushes in here when you're ready and this is great for when you do your tutorials. You go ahead, rub your brushes against here. Clean your feet. Want to clean it up? Do a quick clean. So if you can see it, you see where you have these little spots here. Just get 